pretty wise in us ever since you got into the saddle as the SSA on security. Mm, yeah. well, no, security matter is something to say we are trying. Because it's something you cannot uh, say 100%. But well, at least with this government in power now, of Dr. Ifa Yokoa, the governor of the United States, which is supporting, I think we have been able to bring the security to a level for the meantime. But still, there are some packet of crimes. I think which we are working on it now to make sure who gets to the end of it. But then the security, all these criminals, you don't have to say you have wiped their ass. Hundred percent no. Cannot work. But we are trying our best with the support of the governor. Okoa since he spent a year a five years as a month in the office have done well in terms of security in Delta State? Very, very well. Because uh, I am the SSA so on security matters, senior social assistant on security matters for the governor. And I know how he has a restless night, restless days, combined to his own activities to make sure we move and make get the security. When there's problem anywhere, he never sleeps. He makes sure we are there to settle it. And I think that, that I should give him 99% as far as security matter is concerned in the state. Okay, security in terms of hex men. You see, recently, recently now, see, recently you see something they are trying to set up. They call it as, you know, community policing. And if you watch, this our governor is in front. He's tackling it. And it's, when it comes out again to help. Who do the seminar? now? He's, that is, he's making sure that that peace will have it. People will go to their houses and sleep. Those days, before this government coming on, you know, on board, they were killing people, raping their wives, doing some certain things. But immediately, he came into power. He selected people and put them there. And uh, I think uh, I would say, uh, the, man, the man tried uh, as far as security is concerned. And they sleep with their two eyes open because of courtism and rest activity. You see, if you come to courtism, see this court, if you remember one time ago, I was the chairman of the, as our community policing, and we fought court. They were killing people in Asawa here on the streets and any other, other thing. But when we come out, we'll make sure we bring it out, we'll bring it to a standstill. They have to run away. It's our, our children, their children. The best thing is they, they, they know them. It's not a hidden thing. Report them, report them to the police. You can't kill somebody and run away. Tomorrow you come back again and start killing. That's where we used to have some problems. At that time, the killing was too much. I was made the chairman. The inspector of police was here. We went into action. Who make sure we reduce it even finally? But you know, small time again, they will not come back. And I think by then there was peace here. People were sleeping with their two eyes you know, closed. Like recently now, if you watch that, all this courtism, courtism things, there, we have, I have a packet, packet, packet of it. And we are trying to tackle it. And we are going to tackle it. You can't come, come and kill somebody and go away, say, because they caught it. What, what? This, somebody would not even go. Pass through the four corners of the university, you say that uh, it's a court. The taxi driver is a court. Twitter seller is a court. Me seller is a court. They are, are, this is, they are robbers. They are not court. There is no courtism. They are robbers. They are thieves. They sit down in their house and form a court. There yeah, are serious agitation that even the security officers are the ones abating this crime. No way. I can tell you. Let me just give you one instance. I was hearing this. I was hearing all these things before. I work with the police. Hundred percent. I work with the police. Hardly you see a very good genuine officer conspiring with a criminal. But you know, in every thing you do, there must be a Judas. But I'm telling you, ninety-five percent of good police officers are good, but five percent. Or even three percent are bad, and which you are not. But I'm telling you, we have a very good police officer that despite their duties properly 100 percent. 
But that drug language, you know when the language comes on somebody, police eat money, eat it. But I'm telling you, I've worked with police for some time now, especially in data state, even with this new police commissioner, who's an action man. He will say, tell me them, show me where they are. He will go there. You see, Abraka markets, that place is not supposed to be markets. When they drove, drive this uh, house people from the, from the east, you know, we the deltans, we accommodate. Then they all go to that place, start making their shades, and start selling something. Then they call it Aosa Market. That place is not a Aosa Market, it's a residential area of, you know, or where they can build factories and everything. Then when they start doing it, we allow them. But later, they turn that place to a of thieves, criminals. You see, all the, all the armed robbers, Kidnappers, all sort of crimes have been committed. India hemp smokers, drug smokers, they will just come there. So, we have been trying to see what we can do about it. We have been talking with them. Please, report the criminals among you. And they are afraid to report. They now will now decide. Let's destroy all the shanties where they have all these prostitutes. Because when they go and rob, they come and stay with these prostitutes. We'll discuss on guns there. AK-47 and all those things there. Then I went in and make sure I destroyed the whole shanties. When we were some criminals were running into the river with their guns and everything. They will not find out. They are not running away is the problem that they will come back again. We said, no need. That place is not a market. The governor said, okay, no, please. What you can do now is we will locate them to an area and call it a market. Which that's why I don't know. I'll give the, the governor a code. And immediately we prepare a place, I'm referring to Oko, give them a very big land. Then that place, as I have turned the name of this, will destroy everywhere. Go and see the place now, there is peace. The kind of crime that we witnessed recently was the influx of the ones we call Yahoo Boys. And ah, that is the most dangerous one. You How see, you manage it or what do you think about is it? This Yahoo Boys, now as the government, there's nothing like Yahoo, it's not, that's not a legitimate business. I don't like Yahoo. People don't go to school again. You see a boy of 23 years doesn't go to school. Driving range over for uh, Okay. How can you go to somebody's house? You rent this house. You pack about five exotic cars that can build the house. Every morning you stay in the house. Don't go anywhere. You don't go anywhere. And you the landlord, you collect money. And we are posing that you are a landlord. They should arrest the landlord and join him. Someone around you, someone that are the list. There are so many of them. They are building houses everywhere in Asa. But sometimes, sometimes I'm getting the government will start going after them. They are going after them now. What is Yahoo? Is it a legitimate business? The former when you come to shop right, you see that they buy a drink for 20,000 and they will point it on the ground. They don't know the worth of money. They don't know what is called money. They know just what they type, type, type. They say, and some of some, even some women are following them among them. There are some women going around with them, even married women. That is, that is just it. Going with them. They are using them. The data business they are doing now is they will now bring a woman's picture. In the asset. Their profile. Then they now, then their profile. Now they now give to us a friend request. They start telling you stories, 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 stories from there. There's another important thing that I would like to tell the world to hear. Anytime your wife is busy typing anything on the handset, please. Try to grab down hands and know what she's typing. There is a group they call, they call a different, different name. Some are loving in a house, some are this. It's a group. All these housewives are in it. That's where they go there and play with Yahoo boys. There are some women in Obogonogo. It's their business. They, all the husbands are driving them away from Anambra. They are all packed full in Obogonogo there. Polluting the women here. Bring the Yahoo boys together. Hope you don't send me now then. You, your man, you are sitting down in your house and your wife is giving somebody she doesn't know an address. Telling, her, telling the person about you that she has seen a big man in the wedding. They will kidnap you. Of course. Or you, the man, you are in that group because you like women. You want to come. Because when they go, what they do is this. When they go to, they will just book a place. They call it, a, they say they are going to outing. They will go to a hotel and book a hotel. All of them will be there. Drinking and drinking, the night of them will go and sleep. And they will tell their husband they are going for burial or they are going for naming ceremony. Say like they are in one hotel, is behaving with the Yahoo boys and all sorts of them, prostitution. 
There's another one, I love in action room. So many things. They have different different names. They have a queen. They have a king. Grab that handset from your wife. Go grab that handset from your husband. Who are you talking to this night? You will not find out. He was just talking with different different women. They are chatting, talking rubbish, showing sending new new their pictures. Mostly married women from Anambra. So many of them. That's what they are doing. And they're inviting criminals for us. How can you go and do something with somebody in, 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 you know, in Instagram or anything? You don't know him. You give him your address. Tomorrow, all of you combine together. Say you are in a group. Say group, group, group. I don't know, don't know if you someone in Lagos, someone in Babuja. The more you come together, and one day all of you will say, well, we're, we're, going, we're going for outing. You invite one from Babuja, all of them will just gather. You don't, you don't know each other, you go there. They didn't finish the entire hotel, they useless. Who's less than self? The next day, all everybody is gone. You just give him your husband's address or you give him your wife's address. They will go and kidnap her. That's what, that is what is in real, that's what is in folk now. Like what, I, what I would advise them is uh, everybody should be security conscious. It's not only to call police. If somebody passes through your house and they find out that person is a questionable character, call the police and say, Oh, somebody passed my house. Oh, this man, I don't like him. He gets they don't pass here three times. When you catch him, tomorrow that person will not come. They will investigate him. If he's not a criminal, they leave him to go. But we are inviting them. And so, so this has too much women. Too much women. Anywhere you see so many women there, please put your eyes there. There's something going on there. Because that is where.